Okay, so we are with Mr. Francis Forster, Master Applicationist. First of all, I want to talk to you about the late. Given his energy, it's very difficult to refer to him as the late, but we have to that now. Yeah. The late Kofi Ganaba. How did you hear about the person of Kofi Ganaba? Yeah, it was a. Uh I was sitting around and I called a friend of mine called Charles Eastman. Uh Charles Eastman is from Ghana. I know, he used to work with the Ask Council. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's just, he's just resigned from the Ask Council not so long ago. Mm -hmm. And I told him I was coming to Ghana. And he said to me, when? I said, in January sometime, going to February. He said, well, you know, I'm coming down to, I said, because I'm coming to the funeral. Well, we began to buy, going to be buried. I said, what? The Warren is dead. It blew me because um, this is a man I respected, loved, admired. Um, his talents were enormous. He was one of the first Afri West African drummers to make a mark in the States with jazz drummers like Elvin, Elvin Jones, um, worked with um, Miles and New Charlie Parker and some of the jazz greats of that time. And, um, and I, I had experiences with him myself, you know, um, so he's death was a real shock and I was such a wonderful man but uh, we come and we go and he's left his mark so it was a wonderful thing to be here um, it was not a wonderful thing but um, I was pleased that I, I, I knew such a man before his passing because some of his stuff did rob of me and uh, his, his music was his music is um, everlasting yeah. how did you meet Kofi Ganaba? Uh, I met Kofi Ganaba in 1968 at a little place called Tiptoe Nightclub in, mm -hmm. in, in Accra, around the Kwame Nkrumah so Circle area. Mm -hmm. At the time, I had just come in from Sierra Leone and we had a band here called The Heartbeats, which was headed by a gentleman called Geraldo Pino, a uh, real name, Gerald Pine. Um, and we, we were doing this great set at um, Tiptoe and we did this beautiful song called Take Five, and I did a solo, and this this man came out of nowhere in black, black, in the black fedora cap, walked up me, walked up me, and said, well done, what a great solo, and um, blew me away, so I thought, uh, who's this man? So she said, come to my table after, after, after you finish your set, and I finished my set, I walked over to his table, I found out this was the great guy Warren, that I heard about and listened to his music over Voice of America. What had you heard about him? Oh, uh, his, uh, his music, uh, his, 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 his expertise as a drummer, and the things he's written. He was a great person, and he, he, that he had worked with so many people. And, um, and I'd read a, a bit of a small article on him as well before then. Um, I knew of him without mm -hmm. before I meeting him. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so when I did meet him, it, it was a great privilege for me. Uh, so I met him in '68 at Team Tonight Club as, after okay. a solo, and this was a wonderful meeting for me. So uh, he's always since that since then he's been in my thoughts. He's always been one of my motivators, you know, in, in my life. So to hear that, and, and I understand you met him yeah, more yeah, recently. Yeah, and years afterwards, uh, quite recently, uh, a few years ago, when he was 80, uh, I happened to be. Since then, I've been married twice, and both my wives have been Ghanaians. And so I see. I, so <laughs> I come to, my kids are all half Ghanaian, so I'm moving to Ghana myself. Mm -hmm. So I come a lot because I want to reside here. I'm building a small business with my family here. So Is it going to be a show business? Oh, yes. I'm building a little hotel um, okay. um, and a restaurant nightclub for live music. Okay. What about us? Uh, in Kaneshi. Okay. Right opposite Koko Clinic. Okay. Right exactly opposite Koko Clinic. Okay. And uh, so I'm busy doing that. Yeah. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm nearly, I'm more than halfway through. Good, right good. At minute. So you met Ganaba for the second time. It, 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 was, it, was, one of, it was one of these 2000. visits. Yes, um, 2005, I think. Okay, okay. It was 2006. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, it was his birthday. Okay. So it's your birthday. Yes, I got invited to this party, and that's, I, I ran into him again. And um, that, that was speeches and everything, mm -hmm. and we, we had a great time and. Then uh, he, he did his, his big hit to, to, to close the evening off, mm. which was, as you know, ba da da da, ba da, do zen 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 zen. Happy and feeling. A very happy feeling. Mm -hmm. And I had, luckily I had a drum that day, so I sat in again, and right away when I walked into on stage, he saw me and remembered. And you, Francis Foster, I remember you from way back when. 
and uh, where it was a great reunion. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. then to hear that he died um, when I was coming home again this year, it really blew me away. So uh, it's wonderful that I'm here to be able to do this with you. You know, to, to say Thank something you. about Thank him. Thank you. Uh, we live in our memories. Yes. All the musicians that that know of him. And even those that don't should hear from us what, what a wonderful man and what a pace setter, what an innovator was mm. in our lives, you know. So, so